When first I went to Gulf War, I packed my wool and twill, for it was early March and the weather would be chill. But come afternoon, when temperatures were nearing 94, just standing still has never made me sweat so much before. So if you go to Gulf War, be sure to pack your cloak. Be sure to wear your sunscreen and be sure to dig a moat, for the weather's unpredictable and hard to tell at best. And if you're not prepared, then you'll burn like all the rest. The second time at Gulf Wars, I'd learn from my mistake. And light white knits and cottons were all that I would take. Then a cold front took a southern turn and froze us through and through. I promise you that wasn't woad that made my nose turn blue. So if you go to Gulf Wars, be sure to pack your cloak. Be sure to wear your sunscreen and be sure to dig a moat. For the weather's unpredictable and hard to tell at best. And if you're not prepared, then you'll freeze or burn like all the rest. When next I went to Gulf Wars, the weatherman said sun. But by the time I got on side of sunshine, there was none. For a thunderstorm came rolling through and flooded out our camp. It's been over a year now, and I still feel cold and damp. So if you go to Gulf Wars, be sure to pack your cloak. Be sure to wear your sunscreen and be sure to dig a moat. For the weather's unpredictable and hard to tell at best. And if you're not prepared, then you'll drown or freeze or burn like all the rest. So now you see the weather there is strange as it can get. We haven't had an earthquake or volcano erupt yet. So pack for every climate child. Now listen well and heed. Whatever garb you leave behind is the garb you're gonna need. So if you go to go for, be sure to pack your cloak. Be sure to wear your sunscreen and be sure to dig a moat. For the weather's unpredictable and hard to tell at best. And if you're not prepared, then you'll drown or freeze or burn, or all three, like all the rest.